victory lane at Hawkeye Downs and Stephen Light, congratulations. Thank you very much. Boy, it looks like you started a little back further in the packs, but you were patient and made your way towards the front. Yeah, there in the beginning of the run, you know, people got kind of hectic there in the beginning, so we kind of just backed off and let everybody settle down a little bit and uh, see what kind of race car we had in the first half. The car was pretty tight in the center, worked our way back up to third. And, uh, you know, I told Howie that on the radio, I told him that the car would come in. They said, do your best out there first half and we'll get you fixed for the second half. We come in and they made the perfect adjustments and the car was awesome and we'll come back out. Now you could see the battle in front of you coming up to the halfway point with the 80 car. Uh, getting, oh yeah. Getting, boy, yeah. that was pretty wild, yeah, they were it? they were getting pretty uh, dicey up there, you know. Uh, I think Griffin got by the 71 and he got back by him because of the lap traffic. And, and I knew those two were not going to be easy to pass. I mean, they did an unbelievable job when I got to them. They were hugging the bottom and couldn't hardly get any runs on anybody because everybody was right on the bottom of the grass. There was nowhere to go. And the outside lane really didn't work good tonight. I've been here a bunch of times when it has and tonight it wasn't working. And, uh, you know, I guess they thank you to them for driving me clean, and they did an awesome job. Do you think those two may have wore out their tires a bit, oh, battling each other? Yeah, maybe a little. Uh, these tires really stay with you a long time. They really don't go away much. Uh, I think maybe their cars just got a little tight on them because ours were really free in the center. The first round, we were tight in the center, we freed it up in the second half, and I think maybe they got a little tighter and they didn't make any adjustment for that, so that couldn't part of it. Talk about your pass for the lead with about uh, 25 laps to go. Man, I didn't know how we did that. Um, we got to him and you know we ran him down. And once we got by Refter, and I was like, man, it's, you know we're good to go now. And I got to him, and all of a sudden I couldn't get a run on him. He was coming off on the bottom. I couldn't turn under him because he was so low. I couldn't go high because there was no grip. And I was like, man, this is gonna be tough. And uh, he actually pulled away from me for about five laps, and then we, you know, he started slipping, and we, I started being smooth and slowed myself down and said, get back in the rhythm. Got back up to him, and somehow got under him, and uh, had to, you know, like I said, he raced me clean and he did a good job. What does this win mean to you? Oh, well, it's a great win for the team. Gets them pumped up because we're, you know, as most people know, we're running the ASA Lake Mall Series full time, and uh, you know, we've already got a win in a second that. And Refner come over to Madison and beat us there in that deal, and we decided to come over here and see if we couldn't get one from him. And, and uh, almost didn't, but we, uh, you know, it was awesome. ASL is a great series. They're trying to build it back up to where it used to be, and, and I hope they do because it's an awesome deal. Fantastic. Congratulations Thank once you very again. Much. Stephen Light here at Hawkeye Downs, the winner.